Hello everyone and welcome back to Mars Horizon. We are continuing to research the Grand Tour over there, uh, visiting Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto actually, it seems. Uh, of course, the actual Grand Tour ended up being Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But we are also building two Voyagers, though those are not for the Grand Tour, ironically. Uh, one is being sent out to Saturn in particular and the other to Uranus. And they will be both completed at the same time, though we still have to put the launchers together for those. And yeah, let's just proceed. There's a funding review. Oh, uh, rival agency claims dominance. Several news outlets have reported on China's successful modular space station one mission. Gosh darn it. Uh, China has stated that achieving the mission before your agency proves its technological superiority and that it is leading the space race. Your agency has been approached for comment. Um, Dang it, refute the claim. Uh, ha your agency has strongly rejected China's claim. Japan is at the forefront of space technology, stated the agency representative. We don't feel the need to boast about a single mission success, perhaps because we have a lot more of them. <laughs> yes. Uh, darn straight. Okay. Yes, we launched, we lost reputation with China. Whatever. Okay, next. Next. And we've got a lot of money though. Uh, did we have any mission slots? I don't think so. Mm, active missions. Yeah, all our mission slots are filled up. So we'll have to like build something to get an extra mission slot if we want that. Okay, well we got a boost and we got to level, actually midway level 13. So not bad, we must have done something. It was those Skylab missions. Okay, astronaut takes space shower. A uh, series of photos from your space station. Uh, why does my space station have a Chinese name? <laughs> um, uh, that's not a Japanese name for a space station. Uh, anyway, have been published in several newspapers. In one image, astronaut Yamaguchi Fumi no uh, can be seen uh, taking a space shower. That happened on Skylab, by the way. It turned out it's not such a good idea. A uh, complex zero-g shower involving a cylindrical curtain and a vacuum system to suck away water. Takes hours to set up. Various articles have quoted Yamaguchi Fumino as saying, and a soap makes you itch, but it felt like a luxury. Um, yeah, we, we don't uh, bother with the full-on space shower anymore. Uh, I think they just sort of sponge off in space, because dealing with the shower thing is just not worth it. Okay, agencies propose international collaboration. The other four major space agencies have proposed, approached your agency proposing international collaboration in the construction and use of your prospective modular space station, including China? I'm not, I'm not, uh, uh, I forget how many there are, but it seems a little bit weird. Accepting the proposal will grant your agency uh, 5 million bucks towards future mission costs. Though your advisors note that the other agencies would res uh, receive significant signs from gaining access to the station. I don't know, putting it at that high latitude. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't uh, really see a need for the money. Yeah, I I'd rather uh, hold them back, actually. <laughs> uh, you have rejected the proposal. Although we respect the other space agencies, one of your agency's representatives stated... Uh, in this case, we feel we have all the expertise and resources needed to complete this extraordinary space station. The other agencies have responded negatively to the decision, uh, though several media outlets have praised your self-sufficiency. Well, well, we'll try. But we lost a lot of support from the other peoples. Though I haven't been really using diplomacy very much. Okay, next. Space station freedom it is, or... Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we've got two of the Voyagers being built at the same time, so I can't even distinguish between them. Design shuttle? You mean the shuttle can launch it? Uh, but I mean, uh, it's for Earth orbit only, so. Design new. So that's a new category for us, design shuttle. Okay, well, that's the only thing we can use. And... We can use a Titan, or we can use uh, Mu-5. I think we should just stick to the Mu-5 for now. Everything is a go on that. Not that the Mu-5 should be able to... Auxiliary Propulsion System, what does that do for us? Additional roll control, 
uh, reducing the chance of a critical launch failure. Well, it was 73% launch. Last time, our Saturn mission failed because of a critical launch failure. So, shoot, shoot, why not? Okay, six months to build. Shisho. Well, at least that's Japanese. Um, contractor. We could boost our science or we could cut costs. But increase build time. I'm more interested in the build time. Uh, we have lots of money, so though that could go away in a hurry depending on the mission that we select. So but we'll we'll go for the increased science. Okay. Yes. And Uranus, basically the same deal. More onboard cameras. Let's just go with the propulsion system and the science. Doki Doki! <laughs> Aw, cute. Uh, why is it so expensive? You know what? Uh, maybe for this one we should cut down on the expense. That's a pretty big reduction in expense. At least then I can separate the two. Okay, so yeah, we'll reduce expense on this one. Astronautica it is. Okay. Zarya is going to be completed. We really need to work on the International Space Station now, though. Uh, this Grand Tour Science. We, we've uh, basically challenged everybody else. Let's uh, go down the Space Station line. We'll halt on the Grand Tour business. Okay. Design Vehicle. I guess we can launch it already? Doesn't seem like we have the... I thought we needed that technology to do the International Space Station thing. Well, Saturn 4B actually would... might be able to launch Zarya. That'd be tight, but yeah. Wouldn't be able to launch Skylab. Oh, why? Oh, good. we don't have enough upgrade points on this launcher. Okay, that's... we want to speed things up, not slow it down, so... That's a big reduction in cost, though. It's tempting, but yeah, no, we want to... Make sure it's quick. Sundoku, yes. And because China's already ahead of us. The others aren't anywhere near, but... We really need to get the international international one. It's not going to be international. We need to get the space. Oh, it's modular space station two. I see. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was just one. Mars lander in fourteen months. We've done that, right? Yes, we were first on Mars lander, so that's still good. Polar analysis. Well, once we get a mission slot, if that's still around. I wouldn't mind doing some polar analysis of Mars. Soviet Union failed Neptune flyby. Alright, Zarya crew return. Wait, was it Zarya that we had launched before? The space shower? Uh, space shower was definitely Skylab, by the way, but anyway. Uh, Japanese astronauts have landed safely on the Earth after spending 12 months aboard. The space station Zarya in a televised interview, Yamaguchi Fumino was asked about taking a space shower on the station and revealed an incident where another crew member rigged the system so that the water was ice cold. Spent three hours setting up that shower, didn't speak to them for a week afterwards. Well, that, that never happened. Matsumoto Hitomi has retired and will no longer be available. We have a few astronauts. Okay, Shiso Sho. That's our Saturn flyby. Uncrewed mission training. Um, launch reliability is only 73%, so let's just keep to that. And January looks good. They are still trying for Neptune. Interesting. ESA failed space station. Okay. We got a little bit more budget because of our approval, mainly by talking up our space program, basically. We didn't do any... we didn't accomplish any missions or anything. Reduce launch reliability. So, we need to bump that up. 
No, Saturn flyby is, uh, Soviet Union is already ahead of us. Okay. Uh, bad conditions. Only minus six percent though. I don't think rescheduling was a good thing. We've got the auxiliary propulsion system. Let's continue. Off it goes. It's a nice looking rocket. Okay, no explosions this time. Ah, barely in there though. Okay. Well, step one is complete, and now this. Saturn transfer orbit, which is tough. Saturn transfer orbit direct is tough. Okay. Well, so we need the nav most of all. And we can get that from comms, and then thrust from that, so... We need a lot more of this, so we need comms, and then we can trade the nav for more comms. Hmm. It's a vicious cycle. Okay, well, let's do that first. Get that. Get more comms. And get even more of that. I think the negative one doesn't affect us. We might as well just wait close to the end to worry about the thrust. Oh, our payload reliability isn't great. Ooh. Well, resist. Okay, boost transmission is fine. And manual thrust adjustment is fine. Okay, so we've got some more of that. Let's just keep uh, piling up on the manual thrust adjustment. That was very good. Ah, uh, that was very bad. Resist. Okay, let's get some data here. Why don't we get some more comms, maybe? No, uh, yeah, we don't want to get the thrust yet, I don't think. That'll be enough data for the thrust. We need four extra nav for the thrust. Let's just do this one. Uh, maybe that's not the most efficient thing. Let's go with the power. Okay, ultraviolet imaging is fine. More ultraviolet imaging is fine. Manual thrust ad adjustment needs some more adjusting. And signal attenuation test needs resisting. Okay, two more turns. We should start piling up the thrust here. So, uh, I want some power though for resisting. Mm, that's some thrust. We'll need a little bit more nav to make everything work out, so do that as well. Okay, let's try that. Okay, calculated thrust to burn give us extra thrust. Necessarily what you want, but okay. We'll resist that one. And manual thrust adjustment to give us extra of that. All right, so last turn, two of those, that'll get us the requirement. I we'll want some power to resist, and that should do the trick, I think. There's no wobble or anything for us to worry about. Okay, the thruster burn is good, that one is good, and that's the end of that. All right, we got the bonus and everything. Okay, transfer trajectory.
Well, we've got a total of 17% on our Mars preparations, folks. Hey, I, said, I thought it was 17... Mars preparations is completely different from Mars readiness. These words, though. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay. I still don't have any idea what a Saturn mission has to do with Mars, but that go to. Missions. Uranus flyby. Oh, it was just languishing. Wish it would be more clear. May. Okay. All right. All right, so that's fine. We don't have any mission slots right now, so. Okay, Sundoku. Which is our first module of an ISS. Might as well have launch reliability. More support. Um, let's get the resource requirements and all. Actually, who's leaving soonest? Let's get them another mission too. Um, looks like Arai Keizo is the first to be up for retirement, so. Plus one comms, minus one random resource requirement per task. I think we'll go with the comm specialist. Hold on. Uh, launch reliability is 85%. PR. Science. I'll go for the science. We really need science. It's taking too long to do stuff. So, And we could go... Pretty soon. Okay, next. Okay, modular space station one. And you're in a spot. I wish it didn't just pile these on me. I don't even know which one. Okay, this is the Uranus flyby mission. And that's terrible conditions. We'll have to reschedule. Uh, May of... That's gonna occupy the slot for a while though. I guess now that we've decided to change the launch date, we're committed to that. Alright, fine. Select date. Confirm. Let's do the modular space station one before I forget. Now, well, now it's pleasant. Ninety-three percent launch reliability. It said. You don't generally launch crew with the uh, station. Okay. And that was good. Okay, we just have to achieve Earth orbit. And we've got a drift here this time. You know how much I like that. Um, we get the data here, some nav here. That only has an effect at the end, so that's fine. We can knock it to the right by three with this one. But we'll need to spend the two things we're trying to accumulate to get that. Six turns, but only three things per turn. Uh... No, let's drift the other way, since we can. Well, let's not use the power. This can get us six of those and two of those, so we might as well use that. Yep. Uh, 
Ah, uh, gyroscopic stabilization, come on. Well, that was a bonus. It's okay. That was not okay. Might as well use the peoples. I guess we can drift back a little bit, use the extra person. And use the comms for getting some more. Uh, three turns rem- uh, two turns remaining, really, now. Okay, we're gonna have to resist. At least we've got the basic stuff done. It's going for the bonus now. Okay, well... We can use two people to get more of that. Just use three comms to get that. And I guess it's alright to drift in this direction a little bit. That'll get the bonus, but we only have one power to resist if necessary right now. Okay, that, that's good. Alright, they're all good. And we've fulfilled it, so we didn't even have to worry about the drift in the last, last turn. We should just try and fulfill it and then not worry about the drift. I guess that, well, I guess maybe it won't fulfill it if the drift is out of whack, so. Anyway, we have to deploy the station systems. And we have more drift. We have to keep it really precise now. Okay, well. Hmm. We need three things. We need the comms, we need the data, and the nav. Equal amounts of all of them. Well, we start off with one uh, comms. So sneakily get that one. One person can get that one. And we can use one data to get more of the nav like that. Without drifting at all. Well, we need a lot more nav. So we're probably gonna have to drift this way. And then we can get data like that and drift the opposite direction. So let's just do that combo. More of that. We we might as well try to maintain some balance overall, so. Okay. Uh-oh. Resist. And flight path control is okay. We'll uh, get the comms like that. Spin that. And we're short of... Data, but um, we might as well see. We can't really spend some nav to. This is only at the end, only when no turns remain. Hmm. We could fulfill the nav part with this one right now. We have an excess of nav right now. We could fulfill the comms like that. As long as it's not gonna cause me to fail. We'll do the other part in the next turn. Okay. No, boost transmission properly. Okay, so now we'll drift on to the other side. I should get more power. And why don't we use data and nab at the nav and then all we'll have to worry about is the data and we should be able to get five data like this just with one power and one nav which we have in excess so we'll get done a turn early like this okay resist flight path control is good all right so just an extra power no particular reason actually 
Okay, let's see, that one, no, no, spend that one. And we're balanced, we're okay. Yeah, well, well you need the extra power in order to resist if necessary, but that's 18, 18, 18, so, all right, yeah. Okay, we have deployed our modules. We were second, though. We're still researching this. Doesn't look like China's researched it yet either, though. Better get a good funding review this time. Okay, the research is complete. Let's just keep going the station track. China challenged us and everything. It still gets the Mars readiness stuff, right? Or whatever. Mars expertise. I don't know, Mars readiness is a complicated thing. We might be getting too much expertise. I don't know, I mean, we've got 30 experience, 23 expertise, and 0% preparation. I could have sworn we had some preparation, too. Overall progress, we're at 18%. The Soviet Union's at 17%. Chance of mission success abysmal. No kidding. Okay, um, so yeah, we, we've got some competition here, it's not, not easy. Okay, well, let's see, can we plan the part two? Hey, we just got the, oh, we need to research Unity anyway, okay. Phase one of Mars Lander, didn't you already do that? Uh, maybe we can... there was a Mars mission quest. Ah, oh, not anymore. There's some Earth mission that we could take care of while we're building stuff. Spacewalk maneuvering unit. I like those. But that requires peoples. 2% though. Still wind monitoring. I want the science. Publicized Earth topography. Advanced shock absorption. Better payload reliability, huh? Or how does that relate to a spacewalk maneuvering unit exactly? I just want to knock out the topography mission though. Yeah, I mean, this should be quick. Uh oh, Soviet Union is going to get the Neptune flyby thing. Okay, Earth Topography, Design Vehicle. The Delta stage is cheaper than the Mu-3. Yeah, let's just go with that. Booster. Definitely not Saturn. Oh, Delta seems cheap these days compared to all the other things we've been doing. Let's boost the science. Okay, we have a plan. Okay, some of our astronauts return to active duty after the station mission, prior station mission, previous station mission. Earth topography launch time. And science, let's just focus on science. And fine, August. just in time for us to have completed the Unity research so that we'll get started on that mission next. Good conditions, continue. Okay, I clicked during the countdown so it skipped it again. Off it goes. A boosterless Delta II rocket, or apparently a Delta II rocket. At least by the coloring. There aren't a whole lot of blue rockets. Or, you know, uh, the Japanese equivalents. They purchased the uh, Delta II stuff. We have to pay nav and data in order to drift the opposite direction. I don't like that. Uh, we use, we'll use data to get the uh, comms, darn it. That.
Okay, we'll use the two points that we had there to get even more comms and then trade comms for those. Resist. Okay, we've got the basic requirements in two turns. Let's just go like that for now. Okay, that part is fine. That's excellent. And that will need some power to resist. Last turn. Okay, well now. We just need two nav, don't we? So, but then we'll pay one data for that. Um, I don't want to drift. <laughs> uh, power, data, like that, but then we don't have power to resist. Yeah, we'll just have to go with that and hope for the best. Okay, that part is okay. One more. Alright, alright, alright. Got the bonus. Excellent. More signs coming our way. Uh, we'll just wait for Unity and start building that in the mission slot. Okay. Uh, let's just get the mission set up. And Unity. That's Unity? <laughs> That's a lot of stuff right there. That's the whole end of the space station, including this is the Japanese lab over on this side. And then that's the European lab, Columbus, on that side. And this is Harmony, I think. If I recall correctly. That's expensive. 4.8 million. Maybe China suckered us into doing this. <laughs> There's no point to this. Anyway, uh... Well, we're on this road now. We've got to 1 out of 3 on this... ...thing. We could skip over the whole Grand Tour package now. Uh, no, we can't. We actually have to do Galileo here to get these. Do we need to get these? Uh, yeah. We need to get these, so... We could either do Galileo or the Grand Tour in order to op unlock these. We don't have to do the Jupiter Orbiter or Saturn Orbiter. So doing the Grand Tour saves us from having to research Galileo as well. If we wanted to be saved from that. We really ought to get down to the X-ray telescope stuff, huh? We could do some buildings. <laughs> I haven't really... Space Lane Runway. Fitting time and cost when reusing shuttles. Hmm, we haven't really gotten down to using shuttles yet, though. Around here, we're gonna have another choke point anyway. We've got Mars prep here and a Mars surface habitat. So, alright, let's just go with this. Stick to our plan. Okay. Well, we got lots of money and seems like lots of support. Let's just get to launching that Uranus flyby. Well, our launch reliability is 95%. Jeez. Looks like good weather, too. Yep, good conditions. 99% launch reliability. So this one is the one that's going to fail, right? Continue. Definitely don't reschedule on that. Off it goes. Better be good. <laughs> Alright, we got into the positive thing. Plus one command on the first turn of the first task only. Cheap. <laughs> That's cheap. So, Uranus transfer orbit time. We only have uh, five commands for this turn. Everything needs power. But the best trade-off is one power for three things. 
That's good. There's an okay trade-off. And one power, one com for all that stuff seems good. Let's get extra power and more comms. Let's just get more comms. Ah, oh, well, that's what I got the extra power for. Alright, all else was good. We'll ultimately need a bunch of data in order to get our thrust, but not yet. We can just wiggle between this one and that one, and I'll keep magnifying how much stuff we have. Well, I'll get the basic requirements for those. And then we can build up some more data. Well, that'll get rid of the calm requirement, but that's okay for now. Hmm. Two additional comps. No, we'll have to resist that. Okay, so more of that, more of that. Got plenty of turns. Let's just uh, nab the bonus on the comms and nav first. It's close, not quite there. Nope, it's better. And resist. Barely good on that one. So... We really need to build up our data. That requires spending these things. How much data do we need? Actually, we have enough, I think. Um, hold on. Ultimately, we're going to need four of these. So that's 8 data and 4 nav extra. I think the best thing to do is just to get this one. Or no, you know what? This one is better. That'll be the 8 data for sure. And we need 4 extra nav. We need 4 more nav and 1 more comms to pad things out. Hey, I think that'll do the trick, except we don't have enough power to resist everything. Well, that cosmic dust analysis is good enough. Boost transmission is good. Manual thrust adjustment is fine. And the second manual thrust adjustment is fine. Okay, so two turns. We're just gonna get all the thrust right now, I think. Um, we only have one ability to resist, though. It might... Yeah, well, we have the extra turn, so let's just go for it. There's no wiggle, so uh, that one will require resisting. That's okay. That's okay. And that's not. Uh, I do not have any ability to resist. But that already gets us what we need anyway, so it's okay. Uranus transfer trajectory. Everything else will have to be much later. It'll be years and years before we see that again. Okay, so we sent our uh, Saturn flyby and Uranus flyby. We are almost done with Unity, so we'll be expanding our modular space station. And we are gonna, I guess, slowly increase our Mars readiness. I mean, I need to take a look at some of the other missions. Uh, right now, as far as mission slots are concerned, we're all full up, though. Uh, maybe I should unlock a building or build something or whatever to get an additional mission slot. I'm not sure. Next phase of the Uranus flyby is 54 months. Wow. Anyway, so 
with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.